Hello, welcome to another episode of Dick's Small Engines. Now, in this episode, we're going to have a Type 2 uh, review of the SCP Son of a Gun Protectant, which Sean's protects against plastic, rubber, and leather. Now, I'm, I'm well aware, and it's been brought to my attention, but I was well aware regardless that in the initial review, um, it was perhaps a bit misleading because I'd actually um, trolled the product on a, an upper grass deflector which was probably well past its best which I was aware of and I'd intended at the time with the best intentions of uh, probably not only trolling it on that upper grass deflector as you saw but on um, other recoil assemblies there uh, filter housings, uh, top engine shroudings. But um, unfortunately, having consumed several tins of lager, with all the all those best intentions went out the window, which wasn't great. Um, but anyway, so we had a bit of a misleading review, which, uh, like I said, I was well aware of, but it was brought to my attention. So what we're gonna do is We'll have a look again at the same product. I've got here the top engine, or sorry, air filter, engine shrouding for the USC K760 unit, where there will be a part two coming out on that in the not too distant future. And a Briggs, I think it's a 450 series, uh, top recall, sorry, recall assembly, engine shrouding. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean these up with the air compressor. Um, bit of cleaning product, give them a quick blitz over. Um, on a bit of time lapse, I don't need to say that, it's not very interesting. And then we'll get this product on, leave it to set again, and uh see how the, these uh, end up. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, so I've had a clean up. Blitz off with the old uh, air compressor. Bit of water displacement fluid, as you saw in the uh, time lapse. So. Let's have a look at this uh, STP son of a gun. We're snoring on it, give it a bit of a shake. Now, same again, bit of even coverage. Get it over liberally, as evenly as possible. Not sure how well this husky unit is going to come up because it's a bit of an off grey colour but we should restore it a bit. Right, fairly liberal with the older uh, product. Let's get that back away. So what we're gonna do now is not before we're gonna let that settle and do do its business for uh, I don't know, five or six minutes, then we'll come back and uh, we'll give her a good buffer up and see where we're at. Right, so that's been about five minutes. We've let the product sit on the, um, the two top uh, engine shroudings and recoil assembly. Let it infuse, work its way in. Um, do its business like I say. So what I'm looking for here, or what I'd like to see, because I've used a few of these products over the years, is I don't want to see any streaking. Now that, that, that obviously streaking is, depends on how heavy you apply the product and how liberal you are, etc. But I've used products in the past by the way, um, they leave it that streaky finish and it, you know, it, it's not great. So we'll start buffering. 
working the products in. Like so. In this case I'm using a rag and all. But feel free to use whatever you've got at your disposal, but I'm gonna be working it in. I'm liking this. Looking very good thus far. a streaky look as yet. Like I say, I've used products. Now you're back to blacks. For various brands. And uh, they haven't left a great finish to be honest. So we're gonna have a look see what this FTP son of a gun restoring products. Take two more to add. Have to be balls up. Or should I say? Not quite an in as an in-depth review as I would have liked. But I am. Uh, I'll take one done. I'll get the other one done. And uh We'll have a butcher. Right, there we have it. Top engine shrouding recoil sent me off that bridge 450 series, I believe. Top uh, airbox cover off the Husky K760 cut off saw unit. Now, in all honesty, this probably wanted to spray it up before. Uh, it's discoloured, it hasn't come up great. It's, it's a, a grey, grey uh, colour as it is, slightly discoloured, probably when it's sprayed up in iron sort. Come up a bit better, not great, but this, uh, the Briggs 450, I'm sure it'll agree. If I can just, let's have a look. Uh, no, I can't. Um, it's come up well. Come up very well. Impressed with that. I'll bring it up to you. I was going to try and zoom in, but... Slight scratch there, but... I'm impressed with that. So, second side round... I'd say I'm going to give this product, the STP, son of a gun, a thumbs up, thumbs up from Dick Small Engines. Um, I'm not seeing any streaking. The finish is good. So I'm impressed with that. Like I say, first time round, it was a bit misleading, that review. Um, we've got a better perception and a general idea of the product this time round, so yeah. Thumbs up from me, very impressed. I said we use that. Uh, and I'll, I'll keep trolling other products in, not just the restoration. The, it, well, I'll bring any products into this this little setup and uh, trial them. But no, I'm impressed with that. So it's a thumbs up from Big Small Engines because uh, that finish is uh, decent. So, um, got plenty more videos coming up. I'm trying to bang a few more videos out, you know. I mean, I've been chocker at the minute with uh, some machinery sales. Um, well, I wouldn't say it's been great this year, but repair roles and servicing, um, busy, busy. So I will try and not bang as many videos out as I can when I'm in the workshop. Um, so I'm waffling on now. Um, again, if you're after one of me, latest channel stickers email will come up here about now just email me up i'll get one out to you um until the next one stay safe try for now